I'm going to root this uh, phone here I just got from Best Buy for 15 bucks. It was shipped to me. So I'm going to first, of course, I need to open it up. Uh, I'm going to do it off camera, get more leverage. Too much crap in the way. I'm not going to waste time doing an unboxing. Yeah. Take the cover off. Ugh. Crap. Charger and the USB cable came off. I'm just going to put it nearby. Manual. Get this crap out of the way. And then here's the phone and the battery. Open this bad boy up. Okay, so charger in. I did it with the phone right before this one, so hopefully. Um, hopefully, it will have no problem. So, I'm going to turn it on. Oh, shoot. Maybe I should have some kind of case to hold it. Hold it up in. And I guess I'm going to put the charger in. So anyway, while it's booting, I'm going to show you kind of the instructions I found. So I found this forum post. There's usually there's this like this one here that has these directions. So really what you need to do first thing is you need to get the drivers so that when you plug it in, Windows detects it correctly. Um, so that's the primary uh, thing. So download the drivers. I already did because I've rooted a couple, of, a bunch of LG phones. I'm not sure where it is on here, but uh, I'm sure you can find it. Basically, I mean, the kind of drivers I'm, we're talking about is so like when you go to start and you go to computer, you know that your phone pops up in here. Now it's saying it was not successfully installed. Um, the drivers. But anyway, okay. So let's say you get to the screen. And you're like, oh, how do I get past activation? So that you hold the you power up button, power down button, the back, and then uh, the home button. So one, two, three, four. Are you sure you want to exit the setup? Leave setup. Okay, bye bye. And I'm gonna skip. Okay, so now, now it. Uh, once I skip that activation, now it's detecting it. Um, you know what? I'm going to change. Never mind. Okay, so we want to change. All this crap. We want to ch change the connection. Not it's charge only right now. I want it to be MTP. Mm -hmm. Are you? Able to, I'm not sure if you're able to see that. So start on the USB connection, and then there's uh, there was MTP. So that's what I pressed. Okay, and then now you can see here. Um, the device connected. You, you should see in the bottom right, you know, whatever, LG, VS, whatever. And then you can open it and you can see this. So you want to be able to get access to this crap. Um, I guess, I guess technically you don't have to get, do that because the way that I'm going to actually root it is through this phone. So, or through this program. So it's called Towel Root. And the way you get it is you right click that and you save uh, link as 
and it's an APK file. Uh, now, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And I'll put the web address for that. I guess everything else, like in terms of developer mode and USB connection, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, you could theoretically, I guess, download it from your phone without, you know, going even doing a USB device, which is an interesting concept. I never thought about that. So, okay, uh, I'm going to just try rooting it without... Um, without uh, doing any USB debugging. So I'm going to go to File Manager, All Files, Internal Storage. And then here it is, tr.apk. I'm going to open that. And, oh, Google. OK, so actually, you do need to change one setting then. So you go to the Settings. And uh, you need to go to, you need to be able to install, there's a security. Um, unknown sources hit OK uh, okay then you go back to where we were so apps tools file manager okay whatever so I'm gonna try again And sorry, the reflection is probably pretty bad. Let's see if I can. Raise the angle. I don't know what's. It seems just so bright, like you can't see. Oh, it's because it's like right in the light or something. Okay, that's better. Nope. Oh needs to like adjust the brightness or something. I think I should have set the brightness somehow. All right, well, too late now. I'm already in. So anyway, it's asking if I want to install it. So yeah, I'll install it. Application installed. I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to make it rain. Please ensure you're connected to the internet. Oh, freak. OK, so I got to go to settings. I forgot about that. You go to. Um, Wi-Fi, choose a network, connect to your Wi-Fi. Hold on. Gonna... Okay, so we're connecting. Oh, what happened? They all closed down. be so bright on the screen. Okay, so I'm connected. Let's go back to Towelie. So it says make it rain. I'm going to make it rain. And it says thank you. Uh, it should be rooted now with no reboot necessary. So now we're going to install um, to make sure. Uh, now I have to do a Google account. So I'm going to add one. I have a general account that I use for all the kids' phones. I use this just to set up for the kids so they can watch videos and crap, whatever they need. Actually, I mean, you don't even really need a TV once. I'm going to try that again. Talking and typing makes you type it in wrong. Okay. All right, I think I'm in. So I'm going to, uh, this is for Google Play, because I want to install a special program. So I'm going to go to um, Super SU user.
Super SU, I believe that's what they call it, Super SU. And I'm going to install it. I'm going to open it. And then it's going to ask if the binary needs to be updated and say, sure, go ahead. And this is a normal custom recovery. It's normal. Uh, I'm not going to go into details what that means, but basically it's like the boot mode is what they call recovery. So you can install like custom recoveries to install like custom mods, but we're not doing that in this video. And for this, for a $15 phone, I don't care about custom mods. So I'm going to reboot this because it's not worth the effort. That's like, <laughs> that's not worth the effort. Because then once you install a custom mod, you got to find the correct Google Play services because it doesn't, it usually is not packaged with the mods. Okay, so while it's booting up, I'm going to just kind of tear this away. The siding. But it should be noted that, you know, uh, I guess you kind of, if you're able to somehow get that Towly APK onto your phone, you don't even need to install any of the USB drivers. Okay, so I got Super SU. Let's put, let's give that a punch. And uh, I believe everything is good to go. So the Super SU, Super, I don't know what that stands for, Super User is in. Uh, you notice when I logged in, I didn't, it didn't require re-authentication. So that's pretty much it. I got that in here and um, I guess, uh, okay, here's bonus mode. Well, maybe I'll, I'll do a new video. I'll do a new video on uh, what kind of kid apps are great to make your little device worthy. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, how I set this up for the kids. So hopefully this is a little bit better. First, I go to Play Store. And I install three apps. The three main apps that are of interest. Um, I pretty much have them already so I get the kids place, install that. I get PBS kids mode and you're gonna have to search for this. I, I already have my account installed so I can just, uh, I'm able to just go straight in and then YouTube kids. And I mean, you know, what other, what other kid apps you seem, you know, you prefer. So this is just a $15 Best Buy Verizon prepaid um, smartphone or whatever that I rooted. I don't even think you need to root it to um, install these apps, but... Uh, but I did it anyway because I can. So I'm, I'm setting up my pin. Four, four pin, four number pin that you don't want your uh, kids to do. I usually just, I mean, my kids are young enough that um, they can't figure stuff out. Anyway, uh, so, whoops, now you're on this page, right? I wanna lock the home screen, so I'm gonna press that. And I'm gonna lock the home button. And then uh, lock the home button. And then you set home, or kids place, sorry, as always. And then select apps for kids. And this is where you select which ones you want for your kids. So like PBS Kids, and YouTube Kids. You just select those two. So now they're stuck on here. So the home button, if they press it, it just resets the application. Now the other, the thing that's you know, so now that thing comes down. So you want to 
make that dummy proof. So you go to the upper right and you go to settings. You got to enter your pin again. And then um, you do, you go to the parental controls and you want to go straight down to the bottom. Uh, actually, you need to go. You can change, there's all kinds of cool settings. Uh, I think it's, maybe it's user inter interface. So you want to, you don't want, you want to lock the notification bar because you don't want them bringing that stuff down. So I, I locked it, but it doesn't save until you hit back, back, and then it saves it. So now I can't, I can't um, bring that down. So it's pretty much, it's on lockdown. The, I guess the, the kicker might be like, if they restart the phone, and you don't have it to auto lock. I mean, I didn't want to create a password. So here, I'll give you a demo of you know what what their experience is. So PBS Kids is pretty great. So it has like all of this crap, right? Okay, so like you know they press back or they press these buttons. I think I pressed home or something, and then it goes back to the home screen, not to. Is that my mouse screen? All right. Um, and then you have YouTube Kids. So this is YouTube made specifically just for kids. So it's a nice little format. Okay, and then you know if you ever want to exit. You gotta put your code in again. And I'm gonna show you like a bonus thing. So like usually you know you have this in your charger. So what I like to do also is I like to set it up so that when it charges, it has, um, it'll show the weather. So it's always on. So I, it's called Dash Clock Widget. So I'm gonna open that and install it. And I'll just show you real quick how to set it up. Otherwise the video's done. This is just a bonus tip. Successfully installed. So you go to the settings and then you go to um, display and daydream. It's called daydream because it dreams during the day. All right, anyway, dash clock widget. Uh, that's what you just installed. And I like to set um, startup settings to do either when it's docked or charging. And then here are the settings for it. Uh, you can change kind of the animation. I'm, I'm just gonna do slide, it doesn't matter. Night mode, you can make it so that, I want it brighter. So, and then, um, extensions so you can get more extensions you can show different crap but I'm gonna just do the weather set up the weather and we're gonna do um, location where I'm at so you gotta put the name and not zip code okay and then daydream advanced settings button okay whatever all right so this is what it looks like when you plug it in I'm gonna show you so see it shows the weather and the time so you'll all you'll always be see that now my only critique is I wish it was bigger but whatever can't have everything okay so I'm gonna charge it I'm gonna put this little charger I haven't quite figured out how to make it work. Like, it eventually goes on when I walk away, but I think this is going to the USB, so it's turning it on. Anyway, that's it. Now you have a kid phone and a weather thing. You could do pictures.